So this is a story of how my 11-year-old son and a quote from Steve Jobs caused me to build a web-based word game um, that has now been played by six and a half million people. So here's the story. Back in January of 2022, there was a really popular game online called Wordle. And uh, I have loved word games since I was little. So I played Wordle uh, a fair amount. As this is happening, my son, who's 11 years old now, is taking a 16-week Python programming course. So he's you know, cruising along in his Python programming, but um, I, I needed a way to kind of to further motivate him, to kind of show him what was possible. So I thought I'd build this small app um, that I called First Word. And the idea behind First Word is if you played Wordle, you could use first word to come up with the best possible kind of first guess in Wordle. And so I built this kind of math-based tool that you typed a word in and it would tell you how good of a first guess that word was based on letter probabilities and statistics and things like that. Um, and it's Saturday night and I tell myself I'm not gonna go to bed until the app is finished and I'm gonna give myself 24 hours to launch it to the public. And so I did finish it, I think it was around 3.30 in the morning that night, and on Sunday, you know, showed it to my son, it's like, hey, look, look at what I built in, in Python. And so it kind of gives him a sense, and we're gonna launch it together. And so it was really fun watching all the traffic come in, uh, you know, from all over the world on this thing that, you know, didn't exist a few hours ago, and now all of a sudden, hundreds and then thousands of people played it that, that first day. And uh, then a couple of things happened, Wordle, only lets you play once every 24 hours. And you, you know, practicing once a day and then trying out the one word is not a particularly effective approach to get, get good at Wordle. And so I said, okay, I'll, I'll build a game inspired by Wordle, which I did. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, okay, well, you know, other people might find this useful. So I paired the first word tool with this game called Wordplay uh, now. So it's wordplay.com. Funny thing is, you know, so I've had ideas around, um, you know, the Wordle game and things that could be done with it. And I had a mutual friend that I know, another CTO friend of mine, who actually knows Josh Wordle, the creator of Wordle. So I sent an email to my mutual friend saying, hey, could you make an intro? And literally that day, the New York Times had acquired Wordle. So I made a decision to go ahead and continue development efforts on Wordplay. And it took off. Um, so, you know, it gets 3 million weekly active users now. There have been, you know, 6.5 million people that have played it. So why would the CTO co-founder of a $20 billion company, you know, build a, uh, a word game? And the answer comes back um, to a, a Steve Jobs quote. And, and the quote goes something like, uh, you can't really connect the dots looking forward. You have to connect the dots looking backwards. Um, and what Steve is trying to say here is as you're doing things, um, you might not always be able to know, well, I'm gonna do this, that's gonna lend me to that, and then that's gonna help me do that. Um, you might have some vague ideas, but you won't really always know for sure. And sometimes you have to just do things because they feel right, and then later, you'll be able to kind of connect the dots and things will kind of start falling into place, um, so to speak. And so wordplay for me was an opportunity, obviously, to motivate my son. Uh, it was a way to kind of scratch an itch. It was a way to learn uh, some new tech things that I've been wanting to learn for a while now, it gave me an excuse. But most importantly, and this is kind of the, the real reason, is that is that connecting dots thing. You know, if I look back at my life, you know, I've been at the software business now for you know, three plus decades, is that I can kind of trace back these kinds of odd things or odd projects where I have a, a curiosity or a, an itch I want to scratch. Uh, and I do that, and then that later comes and uh, turns into something much bigger. And so uh, a good example of this is that uh, I started a blog called On Startups uh, back when I was uh, in grad school. It's part of a, a thesis project. Uh, and that blog, on startups.com became essentially the genesis for what is now HubSpot. Um, like if that blog had not been started, uh, my co-founder Brian and I would likely not have come up with the kind of idea for HubSpot. And HubSpot, the company... Um, likely would not have existed. So that was a weird, it's like, okay, well, you know, a blog about startups ends up leading to a you know, $20 billion software company. Uh, I'm not saying wordplay is going to turn into that, uh, but I am saying that, you know, sometimes you do things that feel right. Um, as long as you're learning something, as long as you're enjoying it, and as long as you're bringing value to people, it's probably worth doing. Um, so that's the story behind how I ended up creating wordplay.com, a Wordle practice app that's now used by millions of people. Thanks for listening.